Hey guys, welcome in. It's Mars here. We are, it's time for 30 books in 30 weeks. And I got a million and one things going on today. So I promise you I'm not going to be on here long. So if you have people that you want to invite in, please do so. We're talking about going beyond illusions in our 30 books in 30 weeks for our personal development series this week. And we're in week eight. I can't even hardly believe it. I'm so excited. Um, so if you are joining me for the very first time, you don't really know who I am, don't know for sure what I do. What's up, Steph? Um, my name is Marcy Batiste. I am a public speaker and author and a reality-based trainer and coach. Um, so I, my specialty is curing emotional bankruptcy. That starts, everything is an inside job. That's how I look at it. I also have a training company called Bankable Success Advisors where I work with businesses and individuals, helping them to optimize their personal, emotional, relationship investments so that they can get the best return on that investment and so uh, those of you who know me well know I'm sold out to my happiness I always live life on Mars and that my favorite thing in the whole wide world is helping other women shine so that's what this is all about 30 books in 30 weeks is a personal development series where I'm able to bring ahas tidbits and great information from a number of personal development books. And we're going to do 30 books in 30 weeks. David Canada, I see you. What's going on? Um, and so, like I said, this week, it's Beyond Illusions. And so we've been talking a lot about reality-based living. Hey, Faith, how are you? And tonight, real quick, like I said, I got 100 things going on. But I couldn't pass this up because I just had this thought. I was doing my reading earlier today. And... You know, I titled this, There's No Good or Bad, But Your Perception Says So. And so I want to give you guys a challenge. I want you to learn to challenge everything. And this is how, this is your lesson on perception tonight. And it's going to be real quick. It's going to be real powerful. So pick this up. So perception is all about how we perceive reality, regardless of what the reality of things are. And the aha, the takeaway was that, for instance, Say you stand up in the middle of a room and you spin around really fast 10 or 15 times. How many of us have done that as kids, right? Do it all the time. That's a kid thing. You get dizzy, you fall over, but what's, as an adult particularly, what do you say? Oh my gosh, the room is spinning. No, it's not. Your perception says so. Your perception says that the room is spinning. The reality is it's not and that is how powerful perception is it can really make you think something exists that does not exist it can make you think that there's something going on in your world that is not going on in your world spin around 10 times fast see if your room spins see how quickly your mind says oh my gosh the room is spinning but it's not it's not and that is the best lesson on perception and how powerful perception is, how easily swayed our minds can be based on what our perceptions are. It can seem very palatable. It can seem so real. It can seem like you can feel it. You can touch it. You, you feel like you're really experiencing it but it's perception, it's in your mind, it's not really reality. And so many times that's the space that we walk around in, like we've been spinning in circles for days. The world is spinning around us, and that's not the case at all. We just need to slow down. I guarantee if you spin around 10 times, the room begins to spin, and then you stop and you stand still and you give yourself time to recalibrate and readjust, suddenly, the room stops spinning because it never was. And the same thing happens in relationships and misunderstandings. And so I want you guys to think, um, the next time you get into a situation where you're looking at something and, and you know, this whole last week and a half, we've been talking about our relationship with reality. And like I shared with you guys, I'm a rea reality-based coach. I'm a reality-based trainer. So when we look at that, I have to get you to a place where you can come to terms with what, re what reality it really is. You have to be able to identify fact from fiction, what's real and what's perception. If you can't do that, then it's gonna be hard to go through the recovery journey. It's gonna be hard for you to raise the bar, which is what 2018 is all about, 
helping each other shine. And you know, part of the journey with my, my ladies and my coaching programs, that raising the bar, it's all about discovering and embracing their star power. Once you've embraced that star power, you've come to terms with reality, you've learned who you are, what you stand for, you set the boundaries, so forth and so on. You've learned to take the knowledge and convert it into wisdom and then begin to share that out. Guess what? You begin to help someone else light shine. It's not always just about you. Your gifts and talents were given for you to share, not for you to hold and hoard. Comprende? So spin around 15 times, see if your room spins. If it does, stop. Then the next, th next time somebody makes you feel some kind of way, you and your feelings about this, that, or the other thing, I want you to stop. Give it a moment, recalibrate yourself, and see if you can come to terms with reality. Okay, that's my message for tonight. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your weekend. We'll talk, oh, I guess it's not even the weekend. Oh my gosh, it's hump day, it's hump day. That's what today is. It feels like the weekend to me. Anyway, have a great rest of your night, guys. We'll talk soon. As always, I thanks, thank you so much for joining me. And more importantly, I thank you always for living life on Mars. Stay sold out to your happiness and raise the bar, guys. I'm out.